I'm going to show you how to derive your double angle formulas that you need in trigonometry. These are your addition formulas in your formula booklet. So to derive the double angles, we want to replace our b's, in each case with a, and do sine a plus a for the first one. And that gives us sine a cos a plus cos a sine a. If we simplify, that gives us sine 2a is equal to, these two are exactly the same, 2 sine a cos a. Let's do this for cos. So that's cos a cos a, which is cos squared a. Now the sign changes, just be conscious that if this is plus, then this is going to be minus. They're the opposites of each other. So that's minus sine a times sine a, which is sine squared a. All we're going to do is use our Pythagorean identity from year one, which was sine squared a plus cos squared a equals one, to derive the other two versions of the cos double angle formula. Cos squared a can be written as one minus sine squared a. And we subtract that. And that gives us one minus two sine squared a. We're going to do the same with sine squared a. So another version is sine squared can be written as one minus cos squared. So that's cos squared a minus one plus cos squared a. So that's two cos squared a minus one. So your cos double angle formulas are your original one, cos squared a minus sine squared a. And then these two that we've derived from our year one identity. And then for tan, we repeat exactly the same process. So we just swap the b for a, tan a plus tan a, which is two tan a all over one minus tan a times tan a, which is one minus tan squared a. So these are your double angle formulas and you don't need to memorize them. You can just derive them from what you're given.